Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. In a couple days, Intel's new 11th gen Rocket Lake CPUs are going to drop and MSI sponsored this video because they wanted us to show you guys how to pick the correct Z590 board from MSI. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we've covered a lot of these already. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through some of the boards and some of their standout features. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. All right, as you've already seen, this video is sponsored by MSI, and it's basically just showing you guys a bunch of the features from their new Z590 boards that support these new Intel 11th gen Rocket Lake CPUs. So without further ado, this is not a review, it's just an overview of a bunch of boards. So let's get right into it. First up, we've got the MSI MPG Z590 Carbon EKX. Now, this is really a water cooling solution for those who are looking for that additional overclocking headroom. Now, if we look at the board here, you'll notice that it comes with this monoblock that is supplied and designed by EK. You'll notice that the monoblock covers the VRM in this and it also covers the CPU. So you're getting a two in one cooling solution. The Carbon EKX features a 16 plus 1 plus 1 phase digital VRM setup with 75 amp power stages. It also features Intel's LGA 1200 socket with support for 10th and 11th gen CPUs and like most of MSI Z590 boards, 3 M.2 slots. In the box there's also a pressure and a leak tester for the motherboard so if you're building a water cooled machine you can leak test it without having to fill the loop. In terms of rear I.O., there is a lot going on here. You can check out our full overview of this board in the top right hand corner right now to know all of the details in depth. As mentioned, if you're looking for a great solution for water cooling and overclocking, the Carbon EKX might be one to look at. Next up is the MSI MPG Z590 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. Now, feature set wise, this is very similar to the EKX. Actually, it's basically the same board here. However, it doesn't feature that monoblock from EK. As you can see here, the VRM cooling is handled by two giant heat sinks. It also features the same VRM layout. So it's a 16 plus one plus one digital VRM setup. Like the EKX, it supports PCIe Gen 4. It also has this indicator on the board to show you which slot is compatible with PCIe Gen 4 storage. The rear I.O. of this board is exactly the same as the Carbon EKX. So much like the Carbon EKX as well, the board features 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6E integrated. If you're looking for a board that doesn't require custom water cooling, the Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi might be your best option. And if you're looking for a water cooled solution, then the Carbon EKX will be your choice. Next up, we've got the MSI MPG Z590 Gaming Force. Now, again, this board is very similar to the last two boards that we looked at. However, this one does not include Wi-Fi. It also features that same 16 plus 1 plus 1 digital VRM setup with 75 amp power stages, as well as the same heat sink design that you're finding on the gaming carbon Wi-Fi. I guess if it ain't broke, why bother fixing it, right? It also features three M.2 slots like the last two boards that we looked at in the exact same configuration. There are a few minute differences here. One actually being the new styling that they've gone for this new series of gaming force motherboards. And also the rear IO is slightly different. Now, let's take a look at a bit of a side by side between the gaming force, the carbon EKX, and the gaming carbon Wi-Fi. And as you're seeing here, the only thing missing is the antenna connectors for the Wi-Fi on this board. If you're looking for a board that doesn't need Wi-Fi, but you want all that overclocking headroom, the Gaming Force is one to look at. Next up is the MSI MAG Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. The Tomahawk boards have always been a no fuss motherboard. They give you everything that you need and nothing you don't and that's really the bonus here with the board in terms of vrm layout it features a 14 plus 2 plus 1 digital vrm setup with 60 amp power stages and three m.2 slots with pcie gen 4 on the top slot as well also sporting that same lga 1200 socket with support for 10th and 11th gen intel cpus and really aiming for that part of the market that basically wants a board that does everything you need and nothing you don't without any fuss. In terms of connectivity, you're getting most of the things that the last three boards had. However, this is the Wi-Fi version, so you are getting that Wi-Fi 6E and you're getting that 2.5 gigabit ethernet. 
The Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi is one of the most interesting boards because it does everything you needed to do and nothing you don't. All right, let's take a look at the beast as the MSI engineers are calling it, the MSI MEG Z590 Ace. Now this board is really aimed at the enthusiast who wants overclocking and lots of expansion potential. Now this board features a direct 16 phase digital VRM set up with 90 amp power stages. And as you can see here, both of the heat sinks are connected via a heat pipe. If we flip the board over, you'll notice that the board has a back plate unlike the other boards we've looked at. And this board features four M.2 slots, two of which support PCIe Gen 4. So lots of fast storage potential on this board. There's lots of overclocking headroom with the Ace as well. It's really designed to be for the enthusiast. If we take a look at the rear I.O., we've got everything that we saw on all of the other boards here. We've got 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E, and we've got dual Thunderbolt 4 with mini display port pass through. This board is really designed for that content creator who wants everything or the enthusiast who wants to overclock the living snot out of their CPU. As the MSI engineers have called it, the Z590 Ace is the beast. Lastly, I thought it was worth mentioning that MSI no longer includes the CD and DVDs. Now, I've been complaining about this for years. They now include a USB stick that has all of the drivers and everything you need to get your system up and running. And if you don't want to use it for that in the future, you can use it basically just as a USB stick. Now, CDs and DVDs with motherboards are essentially a single use media. You can always re-download the drivers from the internet once your system's up and running and using the USB stick again. Let's say you wanna use that USB stick that comes with the board as your install media for Windows. You can also go ahead and do that now too. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of an overview of a bunch of these boards. Now, we wouldn't usually do content like this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. But the truth is there are quite a few features worth mentioning from these new MSI boards. And when a new generation comes out, I think it's actually quite daunting for people who are building for the first time. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a hand in uh, taking a look at the boards and really finding out what features you would be looking at if you were to be buying an MSI motherboard for this generation. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything either. I just want to help you guys make the choice that you want to make if you are using MSI for your 11th gen or actually 10th gen as well because it is backwards compatible with 10th gen. So if you're looking at any of these boards for a new system that you're building that, yeah, this video might actually help you with choosing the right board for you from MSI. All right, ladies and gents, I think that's just about gonna do it here. Special thanks to MSI for sponsoring this video. If you like the music you heard here, I make all the music, it's available over on Patreon. If you wanna get early access to videos like this one right here, it's available over on Floatplane. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And again, guys, yes, this is sponsored, but I do want to help you guys out with making some of the right choices with these motherboards. Thanks for watching.